welcome back everybody to another episode of the seasons of silver scenario thank you so much for being here so many people tuned into this one holy crap i was just sitting over here i'm like what the heck did i do but it's awesome so we're actually going to be ending the summer season over here we're going to figure out what the hell else happens i do know i have to have more homes here that's for sure so i'm just going to keep building those as much as i possibly can as well as working on the basins, which that's also... Oh, we're in monsoon season. <laughs> My rain dance worked! <laughs> this centerpiece is just starting to bug me. Uh, Yeah, you know what? We'll do something like this and we'll bring it like down to there. That way I can at least fix it. Uh, we definitely want a fire station over here. Uh, how's it looking over here on Luto? So we have 159 people over here. I'm going to help go ahead and build up this small warehouse. We need 35 timber and 15 bricks to start this one. So what's really happening right now is with the monsoon, and it's a standard monsoon, it's actually adding water to our basins. So this one over here is currently at 12. If we want to get this thing working at max capacity, we need 35. At least to start for now. And then we are also working on building this one. So I think uh, we should have this basin actually up and somewhat running. Like it'll get some water, but it won't get a bunch. There are different types of monsoon seasons. So some of them actually last. Well, they're relatively the same, but they actually have more impact. So you get water faster and stuff like that, which is fantastic. Uh, I really want to work on getting the whole bricks production going. How many do they need? Do they have all the bricks they need? They have all the bricks and the timber, so I, I don't have to really worry about anything else from that aspect. So let's go ahead and build up those. Uh, how are we looking on tortillas? Still okay? No, we're not okay. We need more. But it sucks because we also have this. I definitely need to... If I can get this one, which is a sugar... What did I make this as? I'm going to make it as sugar, right? Yeah, I am. Uh, with that one being sugar, I'm just going to delete these two eventually. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to get another corn farm out here. I think I'll be able to fit in all the module. Let's see. That one is good there and to there. Uh, you're good here. You're good. You're solid. You're also good. Okay, we got another corn farm build that thing up pretty good and we can go ahead and probably build up another tortilla maker because i feel like that's going to be really important to do we're sitting at 200 plus of our workforce our basic workforce right now 15 out of this i think we should be okay on that as well tortillas are on the low end i definitely need I to get to the much. the rum going uh we have enough to get that going right can we i mean it's a one-to-one -one at the moment isn't it yeah, it is. So what I'll probably actually end up doing is probably getting another one of these things up. Well, this is also a problem. Let me just go ahead and put another one of these right next to it. Build that up. And then I'm going to go, go ahead and grab this and like put it right here. It says 100, so might as well. You should go sit in the shade, boss. I wish I could. There's no shade here. You see shade? I don't see shade. And what do we need to build this damn thing up? We need 20 and then one of these. Got it. So we're going to go ahead and build the warehouse over here. And then I also want to start bringing over some resources to Vazio. I think that's how you say it. And try to at least get this side started for the most part. At least with a little town. We do have 35 over here. So let me actually use the chalice. Let me go ahead and I'm get some of this. Sale. Wait, whoa, 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 You're a steamship. What sail are you talking about, champ? Do you see a sail on this thing? I don't. Freaking crew is smoking. And whatever they're smoking, I would like some. <laughs> We're only as good as our last. Uh, let's see now. The town actually doesn't look too bad, you know, all things considered. This thing's also working very slowly. We need to essentially get it all the way into there. That way this can actually be built up and that'll be fantastic to actually start the whole rum production. 
And when you have seasons like this, right? So minus 50% productivity for the mines, but I definitely need to get them started from now. So let's get this silver mine actually built up. And um, yeah, four minutes. Four minutes for that. It sucks ass. It's not good. But for some reason, I didn't know that you could actually have electricity to this. Uh, what's the worst thing to do if I do this? That's minus two. They're plus 16. I'm going to do that. So they're going to work every two minutes for that. These guys should be okay. It's mostly because they have the chapel, so they're cool with that. Do these guys have a chapel back here? Uh, it's not good enough. They're content, but I would like them to be happy. So we'll put this right over here. And then I want to also start pre-planning where I'm going to put all of these brick factories. Because we have... how? What's the freaking timing over here? So it's 30 seconds to a minute. It's the same as... Well, no, 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 no. Is it? Yeah, it is. So these ones have to be a minute. And it changes, I think. So we have three of these, which means we're going to need six of these. I'm just going to go ahead and copy a second set and put it over here. And we're going to extend the road over here and then over here. I'll probably get rid of this little section in the middle then because I'm crazy and random shit happens. Put that over here. Uh, with the one, we can build two. So we can build two of them right now, actually. So let's go ahead and start this brick production in earnest. And now the chalice is over here. I'm going to grab as much new horizons. timber. People are rioting. Seriously? You just started and now you're rioting already? Okay. No wonder these troublemakers ended up in exile. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Police station right the fuck there. A new commission? It's preventing me from doing what I wanted to do. I'm grabbing 40 timber and I'm bringing it over to Lazio as quickly as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and just like dot these as well. I don't think I'm going to be needing the clay deposits as much as I'm going to be needing probably the oil field. Uh, this is also going to be really, really important actually for later. We I can't believe together. there's a riot already. It's 40% riot intensity. Jesus Christ. Can we hurry up with this, please? Holy hell. This is also looking pretty solid. How are you doing? Two minutes and 30 seconds. It feels like it takes forever, doesn't it? Like, whenever you're putting into these phases, like you're building them up, it feels like it takes forever. We're gonna need homes over here for sure. Uh, we'll need some right here. Need some here, need some here. I think I'm just literally just copying exactly what I've been doing before. More than likely, we're gonna need some sort of marketplace back here. At some point, rather. I think this is actually gonna be a good spot to put that one in. And just loop it around. So then we'll start building in this direction. Because uh, before when I've done when I did this uh, scenario, I actually had all of the woodcutting production over in this corner, and it was not a fun time. It definitely was not a fun time. Built this, and then we're gonna get a rum distillery going. I want to see if that's actually enough for the population. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually like even. Right now, it is even. Yep. The strike has ended. Fantastic, get to work. So the chalice arrived at Vazio, and I'm just going to put all the timber in here. And the very first thing that we're going to have to do, similar to what we did over there on Bluto, is actually build a little town. So we'll put this thing, like, right here. Why not? Or it needs some homes, so we'll put that right over there. Get the marketplace built up. And the road connections are going to be really important. Uh, you know what? You are s not in a good spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to the expert mode campaign, I forget that I can actually move these things. <laughs> Obviously, it does cost money to do it a little bit, but... Or is it? Does it cost money? Yeah, it does cost money. Okay. Well, might as well uh, go ahead and build these guys up. Because I'm going to need you guys to start producing some timber for me. 
and we'll put one over here. We'll put one over here and one right here because I'm probably going to end up moving these at some point because I need to build the settlement up a little bit more. I will do this instead. End it like that. Build that up. Build that up. That, that. Okay, we definitely need to build this one for sure. That way we also have... That's so loud. We also have um, another basin, so this is also going to get at least 10 minutes worth of uh, water in it, and that's really good. I'm pretty sure two basins would be sufficient, because I, like I mentioned before, we will have more monsoon seasons, so we are going to be utilizing this quite a bit. And I think just where they are it is perfectly fine. So how is it looking for the irrigated land? Is it all the way to here? No, it is not. Uh, this row would actually be useless. Because this is actually... It goes to here. So what I would have to do is... If I want to make a cool hundred, right? I'll have to put this one right here. But I can fill this little bit out, I guess. And then we'll have our sugar over here and then I can I can get rid of this one and get another corn but at least the rum is getting in here uh we can probably build up another one of our clay pits this is a good one I think and we can have the warehouse be right over here even though we have enough I don't want there to be any slowdown here so that's a big thing for me Get this one built up and then we can get two more of these things built fire risk decrease oh, okay yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. i remember i remember now i'm gonna put a fire station right here and that's gonna be really good so we've begun our silver production my hope is to get as many of these things up and running as quickly as possible that way we can actually like have some stockpile have that over here. Uh, let's put you right over here. And we'll have a road connection like right here and right here. This one is totally fine because we already have one in front. This one needs one absolutely. Which side is better? Uh, this one. It's like right next to it. Uh, we need 25 bricks. So they are going to be producing soon. And I believe it's it's pretty solid. And then you guys need more of these workers. Sorry about that. I forgot how many are required. Not to mention, like... It is rather, you know, tedious trying to get certain settlements built up over here to begin with because it's just like the conditions are not fantastic at all so you're trying to really navigate around all these like crazy ass debuffs that you have buffs and debuffs sometimes it's really good sometimes it can be really bad we're at minus 15 we just said wait how many do you get in here you get five from this okay that's fine they'll, they'll be fine 270 looking for the second one I will just build this one, I guess. Uh, warehouse right over here. And then we're going to wait for this one. So we need 25 bricks, correct? If I actually, like, provide such shit to make these guys happy, right? Like, if I actually give them the ponchos, which uh, I don't really want to, um, they will be able to produce faster. Now, we can produce that over here. And that's definitely a thing. What do I need to actually build this up? We need 15 of the bricks, but then we're also going to need more bricks to build it, build it. So that's, that's what, 60? Okay, let me go ahead and build this thing up. Crop selection, sugarcane, go. They don't need us. No, I need you. I need you working. Who in the hell said that I don't need you? So this one is working every 30 seconds. The goal is going to be to have the sugar cane all over here. Actually, if I can get most of the farms over there, it'll be fantastic. Uh, that way I can actually probably leave this area for like the goat farms and whatnot and whatever the hell else the burrs require. What else are we looking for? Well, we need to actually like fix this situation. Because that's not pretty good. Uh, we probably are going to need another... Um, 
one of these. Where can I put it that's actually going to be worth a damn? Because we're going to have to leave some space open for these. Let me just build that up there. Like, like my thoughts. We're going to need room for the fuel station. And it's going to be put over there. What do you mean? Oh, seriously? Well, actually, that's not the worst thing in the world. Because I'm just going to... Park it back here, right? And over here later on, I'm gonna get the tractor depot and just stuff it right there, and that thing is gonna work a lot faster. Yeah, that works. Just need to make sure that I have a way to get through here. Uh yeah. So that's just gonna be a little sus. I'll probably bring it from like back here. But then I do have a second, which is 21 uh right here. So maybe I can, in fact, get another one of these things going. Let's see. Maybe I can just put the building down here because I'm gonna actually have to have a um, a road connection here anyway for future fuel. And then if I were to bring this forward and down to here, we should be able to get another farm going. I think it'll fill up enough to get that. Pretty sure. So that's 82 looking good that makes a cool hundred and go ahead and build this up so we got our second sugar cane over here i could probably go ahead and get rid of this one then because corn is going to be important as well that we overproduce on that one because we need to make sure these goat farms are actually real fast really really really, really fast oh i had this other one over here too huh. all right are you guys good over here yeah you're fine but you're not like happy, but you're you're cool. You're cool as a cucumber. What do you need for this? You need 30. Hey, you have enough. Perfect. Build that. And then we're gonna get you connected up and put a warehouse right here so you can actually start producing some clay. I'm just gonna see how much that is. I'm also gonna put the silver ore in here because that's gonna be really important. I need to pretty much do the same over here. Silver ore. But maybe here I give them ponchos. I, I make this over here. We're also going to need coffee. Coffee here is going to be really important. I don't actually have it because I need to actually get to the Oberas in order for that to happen. Can I do that right now? I probably can. You reach a new milestone. Not bad. Okay. What, do you, what the hell do you guys want? Oh my god. Okay, so they need a fishery and then they need a Hacienda Spice Farm. Okay. Yep. That's definitely a thing. We will help you build something better. I appreciate it because I don't want to be in this hellhole much longer. <laughs> and neither do you. So we got these two farms working. I like to see it. Uh, we have this one at 25. This one is at 45, but that's like at maximum right now. Oh, I got a little bit more. So the next farm will probably be over in like this corner or over in this corner. This one will have to work over here, so I think that should be okay. Uh, the fuel station, that's what we need to do. Uh, this is the problem that I have with this. I have a feeling that this is going to be glitched the moment that I put them down. So, let's see. Uh, nope, they worked on it. They fixed it. Okay, that means that Vazio also needs to get to Abreras. We can get some more fuel. So the fuel over here in Pratak, you can essentially do this with only having fuel come from Deserto de Prata, pretty much. But um, this it really helps, in my opinion, because it's like a secondary source. You can send this one over to Luto, and Luto can work on a whole bunch of cool stuff like corn, not corn, uh, coffee, and then the linseed and finery and turning into ponchos and all that good stuff. So, uh what i might actually consider doing is having luto produce the fish here and i can send the fish off because i'm not planning on actually having anything higher pre-produced over here or should i just do it all here i'll just do it all here wait we get depots and stuff right we get the hot tea in the storerooms okay no that that's fine that's fine but we also need free harbor area for this so that'd be back there and like back there. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm just going to put a couple of them down. Like I'll put two for now. Just so I don't waste more time with it. At least get these things started up. 
Uh, we need to also build our second mine, so that's working. And then we also need to get all these guys built up. Uh, we don't have enough for that one. They are more than likely going to want a little chapel over here. We don't have enough timber for that one either. Our tortillas are holding steady. That's fantastic. Then next is really building this thing up. Uh, because... What do you need for this? The tractor barn. So the tractor barn will go right here. And then this tractor barn will go right here. And now we're in summer once more. So what we have during this one is productivity for the lumberjack huts and charcoal kilns being 15% extra. The photosynthesis is at 10%. So all of our farms are going to be working very well. And, uh, you know, breezy work. Productivity by 20% overall. Not bad. So Maybe how are you doing? if I was 20 years younger. No, nah, you're fine, dude. You look perfect. That jawline, just don't worry about the liver spots. They'll go away in time. So everything is working faster right now, and that's fantastic. Um, all these farms are really solid. What we need to do is get this thing built up, and I would imagine that we're going to need to have a road connection to this because we don't have rails. It's not like your typical fuel station from the other, like the base game. You actually don't need to have a connection of this to a rail station to go to another fuel depot. This is just going to produce and put it into I the warehouse. Am Who are you? Mara, actuary to King Joao, collector of royal dues, inspector of crown revenues. Such a pleasure to meet you, Vasco. That's Viscount Oliveira to you. Get used to Vasco. Now, I am here to ensure that your work proceeds efficiently. Ah, I do love bureaucratic interference. Same. I call it effective oversight. I shall return periodically to collect the King's dues. Have the uh, first quota ready for my next visit. Must run deep. Can we fire at him? <laughs> oh god. Okay, so this doucher's here now. We have to deal with him. Uh, we have a lot of timber. We have plenty of sugarcane, which means I can go ahead and build another distillery and get that working. Uh, we need to also get these things up and running. So another clay pit, pit, pit if you please. And another two of these, so get those going. Should probably have a fire station back here. Gotta be mindful of our cash stack. It's actually getting a little low. Okie dokie. Not there yet. So does this actually... I'm curious, does it increase uh, farms, cultivation, area, and productivity? Okay, so we're definitely going to need larger space here. Um... What I might consider doing, because now this is in a kind of a weird spot. Uh, I'm going to have to leave like what I what I'll pretty much end up doing is extending this one out this way. Once I actually build this, uh, these tractor barns up, because now that you're actually in a, you know, summer session, uh, you actually start losing a little bit of the water that you have in these basins, and that's not fun either. So. We need to be mindful of that too. This is working well. This is working well. How are you guys doing here? You are at 71. Now, what do we need for this? We just need these guys. Not much to really celebrate. Okay, all right. I'll give you a freaking marketplace, dude. Not much to really celebrate my ass. Put a chapel here too. Make him happy. That helps him, right? Yeah, it's, it's good. Well, they're not at it yet. They need 300 population size. I'm not providing them with tortillas, so... Uh, build two more districts. I guess it'd be a block, wouldn't it? Oh, this infernal heat. What are we to do about it? Okay, well, uh, decide how to organize work beneath the blazing sun. Okay. Well... A harsh sun blazes overhead. The workers sweat, the air shimmers, the ground burns underfoot. How should production be organized in these conditions? Uh, work hard, rest later. Mm, rest now, work hard later. 
Uh, a controlled burning of the most flammable buildings. Um, you know, I'm a firm advocate that if you help out somebody in need, they're going to help you out later. So we're going to be a little bit lax for now and see what happens. Before I did this one, it was not a good one. Uh, productivity right now, I'm not that concerned about because I think we're going to make this quota. So I'm not really that worried about it. So they can uh, rest now. No point exhausting ourselves in this wretched heat. Yeah, not a big deal. How's the uh, rum production? We still don't have enough to provide for everybody here, which means we're gonna actually have to build this one. And we're at 67.27. What did you need for this? You needed 63.45, got it. So these things need to be faster. But at the same time, like right now, it's a minute 25 for some, which sucks. But if we can get a secondary source coming over here from Vazio, then that'd be fantastic. And because we have three over here, we should definitely have six of these kilns. You know what? I'm just going to make my life really, really easy. I'm just going to do this. Go over here. Copy this whole thing. Go over here. And arc you, like, right here. I think that's probably the best spot to put it in. So that's where all of our brick kilns are going to be, or brick factories. I keep calling it brick kiln. I don't know. Uh, that's where they're all going to be, right over here. And once we get the rest of them all built up, plus increase in the population size, that'll be fantastic. I just want them to be able to use the chapel at this point. Let's get one here, I guess that works. We can get the road through and around. So this one's still going to get advantage and we can still use it. Have that there. Let's get, you know, just build a long line because we don't need any farm fields over here at all. So we can't do it, pretty much. Uh, yeah, you should be okay. We're at 81. Yeah, it's artificial inflation. That's that's literally what I'm doing. So I'm gonna let them cook for a little bit here. Uh, we're 75 here. Uh, we, you know what would be fantastic if I could actually bring what I need from Vazio over to there. So what I'll do is I'll actually build two of these for now. And that way we can actually probably even start working on these silver mines. Yeah, that'll be really good. Like I said, this is something that I don't, I didn't rely on it in the last session that I played this. So I'm not relying on it in this one much either. Just going to do what I can. Because essentially the one here on Prata is capable of producing enough to also supply the one for Luto. Or Luto so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I think you're good now, actually. No, you're 45. God damn it. Still waiting for it to arrive. Okay, you don't need to be going at a glacial pace. That's where I kind of draw the line. Just a little bit, you know? I'm not asking for a miracle. Then this is the next thing that we're going to have to work on. So what do these guys want Still exactly? Still a long way to go. Yeah, so they will want fish stew. Coffee is the one we're going to have to overproduce a hell of a lot of. Bombins, eh, gross. Chewing gum? You, you, you're crazy if I think I'm doing that one. I don't do it in my normal playthrough. You think I'm doing it here? Absolutely not. But we're also, we're almost close to getting, um, not the victory conditions. Like, we have 40 minutes to deliver 25 tons of silver ore. But the good thing about this is, like, if you stockpile this, then you're ready to get to the next sessions. Which, uh, we're gonna need silver bars and silver coins. So that means the Oberers have to get, uh, their population increase as quickly as possible. Um... You reached a new milestone. Okay, so we got to a town. That's very good. We are going to need another one of these things built up. I'm kind of, like, curious. Should I just leave this spot only for, like, cutting down some trees? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Only for cutting down some trees. And instead, I'm going to just keep building this settlement further in this direction and just loop around oh we also have a harbor area over here huh okay never mind then I'm, I'm pretty solid so what we need to do is we need to exploit the hell out of this one play pit warehouse get to working that way we can get some more bricks and with that one means that we can actually build two more 
And we're just like really hovering around the 10 to 12,000 range, which is, eh, it's iffy. I, I don't, I'm always getting nervous whenever I get to that point. So we're good over here. We need one more brick and then we can get this thing built up. Okay, there we go. Nice. So, wise to take time to learn the nuances. We don't have any construction material right now because we just used it all on this freaking fuel station, but it is what it is. Uh, what happens if I like drastically increase it? Plus 15, they are plus 14. Not good at the moment. We will work on that in time because I need this thing to work pretty fast. Uh, how are you doing? You seems to be looking pretty good. So, we're going to build these things up later. Uh, but so far we're pretty good. We actually almost have we need we're five silver ore off from meeting what this actuary idiot wants from us. So uh pretty good, pretty solid. We got the hacienda stuff ready to go. It's it'll expand as we get to the other monsoon season, so we'll get more farms and we'll be able to provide more for our people, and it's gonna be pretty good working on the other two islands as well. Perfect, perfect. Going off my mental checklist, as it were. So until next time, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Let's see if we can actually get the gold with this one. I'm really, really trying, okay? So, with that being said, I'll catch you on the next episode.